If you're looking to integrate monday.com with either Gmail or Outlook, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how you can connect the two. I'm going to show you the different integrations that you can use so you can get the most out of combining these two different important systems that you're probably using every single day in your business. So let's jump in. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Before we jump into how to actually connect Gmail or Outlook to monday.com, I want to point out that there's two different ways to do this depending on which products you're using. If you're using the monday.com work management, then you can connect through an automation. The first time you do an automation, you make an initial connection. You can also do that through the CRM. However, if you're just using the CRM, there's actually a shortcut that makes this whole thing easier. So I'm going to show you how both of them work. So that way, no matter which products you're using, you'll know how to access to create the connection for either Gmail or Outlook within monday.com. Now I'm in the work management product and we are going to go to integrations. The integrations and automations are really the same thing, so you can click on either one. Before we make our initial connection, I do want to show you what Monday has natively for their automations. So this is showing you the ways that you can actually use Gmail or Outlook within automations. Again, the first time you do need to do a connection, which I'm going to show you how to do, but I want to show you these automations. So if you click here, you can see Gmail and you can see the different pre-created recipes that monday.com has. So you can click on any of them and use them. And the same thing with Outlook. You can see here that I have Outlook and they're almost the exact same recipes. And I can just connect my account to monday.com. Now I'm going to walk into a custom automation because I just think it's easier to show you how to create the connection for the first time. So if I click on email, you can see that I have the option of Gmail or Outlook. If I click on Outlook, you can see that the Outlook icon pops up and it shows me that I need to connect my account. I'm going to click on connect. I actually don't have an Outlook account, so I am not going to sign in. I'm going to go back and just show you the Gmail one for now. So instead of having Outlook here, here you can see that I have Gmail and I'm going to click on the Gmail icon. And what I need to do is I need to connect the tools for the first time. So I'm going to click on connect. And here you see that I have my different Gmail accounts that I can choose from. And I'm going to click on the one that I want to connect to. Sometimes a big screen pops up with the connection or sometimes that little pop up. So you can, can get either one. I'm going to click on my email address. And you can see here that I need to accept the settings because Monday wants, needs permission to access my Google account. So I'm going to click select all and I'm going to hit continue. Now I do want to know that since I was signed into my Gmail account, it automatically signs me in here, but sometimes you will need to enter your password. I've honestly tried this like 20 times to be able to show you that in this video and it just wouldn't pop up for me, but just know that usually if you've never signed in before, you also need to enter your password to your email. So now that my email is set here, I can continue to set up this automation. So I'll just create an automation, just a test one, and I'm just going to do test and I'm going to send it to send it to me and create automation. And now you can see that I have an automation with Gmail over here. Okay, so here's my Gmail automation. Now within the automation center, I can go to my connections and Gmail should pop up. You can see here that I have Gmail. So directly within the automation center, as a user, you can see your connections to Gmail. 
Now, if you're an admin, you can go to the admin section by clicking over here and you can go to connections. And here you can see all the connections. And if I click on Gmail, you can see that now I'm connected to my email address on the task board. As soon as I start connecting to more boards, they will show up here and it shows me the automations that it's connected to. If there's a problem, this will hit not connected in red and you can click on these three dots to reconnect it if it needs to be reconnected. So this is how I can connect Gmail or Outlook. It's the exact same thing for Outlook from an automation and then either see it in the automation center or if I'm an admin, I can see all of the connections. Now, let's move over to the CRM. If I'm working within the CRM, you can do everything that we just did. However, they also have an option in the top right corner. I have something called email settings. So I can click on my email settings and you can see here that I'm not connected to any account. So I can add an account. And again, I have the options to choose where my email is coming from. I'm gonna click Gmail. And here, this is an option showing you, remember when I said it was full screen. So here you can see I have full screen and I can click connect. Again, I have to choose my email. Now I already approved the connections. So that's why it's showing me that it's already approved here, but if not, you would need to approve it. And I'm gonna hit continue. And now if I go back up here to email settings, you can see here that I'm connected to my email address. Now these CRM settings are connected to an app called emails and activities. So if you go into the automation center, you also can connect from emails and activities. But this tutorial show you how easy it is to connect your account to either Gmail or Outlook to use within Monday account. If you notice that some automations are not working or it doesn't seem like the connection is there, sometimes you just need to reconnect. So I'd love to hear how you're using this Gmail or Outlook integration with monday.com in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.